Okay, in my last video I showed you how to install WebStorm onto Linux. Uh, this video I want to show you how to get uh, Node.js working with a WebStorm while uh, running on Linux. Okay, so first thing I want to do is just go to my terminal. I'm just going to type in super user apt install node.js in addition to that I want to install my package manager so and the package manager is in npm apt install npm okay now to see where my node.js is installed so I'm just typing which node.js so I can see it's in my user bend then node.js so I'm going to go back to my web storm I'm going to edit my configuration file or configurations click on node.js and now I have to set it to my interpreter so I'm going to add it my interpreter is on my local computer. Okay, so now I just want to navigate over to my user directory. Okay, I'm going to bin and I could just type in node.js and hit enter. Okay, I'm just going to click apply. And OK. I'm going to create a I'm gonna create a new JavaScript file. I'm going to call it index.js. OK, um, before I do anything, I'll initiate the uh, NPM package manager within this directory. So I'm going to just open up my terminal. I'm going to change over to uh, my WebStorm, so my WebStorm files, and then within that, I'm going to my YouTube test, which is the directory I have my files in. Okay, I'm going to type in npm i n i t init. Okay, so Okay, so this init file, the name has to be different than the actual directory that's being stored in. So instead of calling it npm test, I'm, um, I'm sorry, instead of calling it YouTube test, I'm going to call it in node.js test. No capital letters. You can call it anything you want, but just for this tutorial, I'm going to call it node.js test. Virgin doesn't matter. Description, by all means, you can fill all this out. For this Node.js application, the entry point to it is index.js. I don't have a Git repository, no keywords, no authors. Yes. Okay, so now we're just going to test it out. I'm going to close out of this. Console.log. testing node.js click run I'm going to run this actual file so if it works 
you'll see right above uh, the output it hits your user bin node.js and then the interpreter puts out uh, node testing node.js as you see in here. So that's how you know if a node.js is working uh, within WebStorm. Thank you.